below. So I made that video about the Nordstrom sale and the Nordstrom website did stop me. Okay, well I have successfully found the end of the internet, so that's cool. From doing what I wanted to do, which was to continue and talk about clothing and shoes and accessories and things like that. Well, not only is she cooperating now, but also the Nordstrom sale is now open to everybody because I'm filming this on the 17th. It's gonna go up yeah, as soon as I can get yeah, as as it get up. And today we're gonna be doing another shop with me, except we're just gonna be talking about clothing, women's clothing, <laughs> shoes, and accessories. And I know that that is not my entire audience and I, I am sorry, if you want me to do a men's one, we can do a men's one, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, figured we would go ahead and get a screen recording started. Ooh. Lips, teeth, tip of the tongue, roof of the mouth. Methodisty Piscopal, Methodisty Piscopal. It's been a minute, it's been a minute. Y'all, today is not really working for me. I tried to paint earlier. Like I gave the first half of my day after I uploaded to painting and I ruined three perfectly good canvases. Yes, I did. That doesn't mean that they are irreparable. I just have to wait for them to dry and I am actually the world's most impatient person. So I'm trying to like work on top of wet media and it was just getting more and more and more frustrating but there's like that voice inside of me that's like, you can save it. It's like, no, you can't. Just, just okay, that's enough. We're gonna talk about shoes and I went ahead and started right where we left off, which is starting from price high to low. I was expecting there to be more high-end, like, you know, wild luxury stuff on here because I've bought Gucci loafers on Nordstrom before. I get all of the department stores confused sometimes. I might be thinking of like Saks or Neiman's or whatever, but like the most expensive pair of shoes in the sale is a pair of Stuart White's men's that started at $800 and they are now down to $529. And they're pretty cool, you know? Like, do I need suede boots above the knee? No, I do not. But they're, they're pretty cool. Yeah, it's when we get into the flat, like those are really badass. Those All Saints boots. Those are cute. Those are really cute. They're giving Prada. Like, I think that All Saints is kind of funny in the sense that they, not Prada, Fenty. Fenty? Fendi. Would someone come slap me in the back of the head? The way that the heel kind of ducks underneath the boot like that, which it doesn't want to seem to like show me all at once. Either way, years ago, that kind of Western style boot, that heel style was done by Fendi. I do think that like All Saints for being kind of a luxury brand, they're still high street, you know, in Britain, even though they're kind of expensive. And so uh, I feel like they are still kind of a, a trickle down of other super, super high end brands designs. Sometimes they're not always super original, but that's a much better price than a Fendi pair. And I don't think you can get the Fendi ones anymore. Now these mints are Gabrielle. This, uh, I saw another pair down here. Yeah, this like toe style that they're doing to me, this is giving Tibby in like the most beautiful way. These are so streamlined and gorgeous like they just tell me handmade you know I imagine they're wildly comfortable like they look so light and lovely and I actually was really pleased to see that so much is still in stock on the day that everyone can shop I think that that was the thing that disappointed me the most last year was like I had my cart well you can't fill your cart until you're allowed to shop but I had all of these things stacked up that I wanted and by the time I was able to shop because I am not a card holder like everything was sold out so I do appreciate that. The, ooh, Cult Gaia. That stuff is so expensive, but these are marked way down. Look at those things. Are those not just some of the most gorgeous shoes? Ugh, it's like you wanna just construct an entire personality around them. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're selling out of sizes. Yep, that's the hard part about the clothing area. Like I have already added a few things to my cart. Ooh, All Saints made a low ankle version of them. I find that like ankle boots like this are just hard to wear. I have a pair of Ganny ones that I love, but like, I don't know. It's like, you kind of always end up with like a skin sandwich. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, like Tibby, and Amy Smilovic has done these style classes on their YouTube channel and on their Instagram lives that are just so useful. And she also wrote a book called The Creative Pragmatist. And it's just all about like breaking down personal style and it, whoo boy, once it gets in your brain, it's just the way you think about everything. It's really, really cool. But anyway, yeah, you know, you start to think about things that appeal to you from like a visual standpoint and then like, you know, whether or not they're practical. So I have a pair of Ganny boots that are really, really similar to this. They're brown and they're croc embossed, but they're similar to this in every other way. 
and I don't actually find that they like integrate into my wardrobe as well as something that might be a little bit higher, that might go over jeans a little bit better or show, not show under a skirt, you know? I feel like that ankle length is difficult. It like always shows your socks or something. But yeah, I've already added like the Kiehl's lotion to, oh God, you're not gonna catch me in those, uh, into my cart and then, you know, the Orbe texture spray and stuff like that. Okay, what is it? These are not golden goose, but it looks like they're trying to be golden goose, which I can't, I'm sorry, I have like, it's like against my personal religion to pay for shoes that look like someone's already worn them. And I will never understand the appeal of golden goose. All Saints is really doing something beautiful, like with all of these kind of like, you know, goth, a little bit, a little bit punk rock, you know, the Chelsea boots and stuff. I'm like pretty into those. I have a lot of pairs of them myself, but they're really, really pretty. They go with everything. They kind of just make you feel like a badass in the winter time. Ooh, those are pretty. Dolce Vita, I feel like has really lost like quality though. I don't know, have they come back around? Because there was a time where it was like, I would always go for buying something from Dolce Vita. I really hope that their quality has come back because these are just absolutely gorgeous. I used to own so many Dolce Vita sandals and everything. It was like the only brand I wanted to buy from for a long time because like the price was right and the quality was good, but I feel like they just kind of fell off there for a little bit. Ooh, now see sneakers, you'll always get me on sneakers. Like I'm always gonna get excited about a pair of sneakers. It always just makes me think differently about my outfits because I am, those are amazing by the way. Ooh, those are pretty. I am one of those people who will like always dress something down a little bit with a sneaker. I have a lot of sneakers and I love to just kind of pair them with something that they don't go with, you know? I just think that it's a vibe and I just like being comfortable. You like are not gonna catch me in a pair of heels really other than boots because I don't own them. Sorrel, I've said it once, I'll say it again. Like they are just doing really cool stuff. Like <laughs> those are awesome. I love Sorrel's decisions. Like this is a brand that was like, you know, making really practical, but also aesthetically pleasing, but you know, not necessarily super, you know, emphasis on being like really fashion forward. They were just making very practical snow boots at a very good price for many, many years. And I'm sorry, Sorrel, Sorrel. All the Canadians are going to <laughs> correct me in the comments, Sorrel. They have recently in the last, I don't know, five years or so started making like sneakers that are really cool cool and like fashion-y and they've just started doing these really interesting colorways and stuff but still maintaining the practicality of them and you know how per performance oriented they are and I have a pair of their sneakers that I love I love them Birkenstocks Arizona buckle big buckle you can knock 50 bucks off of that 40 bucks off of that those are with the gold hardware I do like that in ecru ooh Ooh, and they've got sizes. Sorel doing more interesting things. See like this, you're not gonna catch me in a pair of shoes like that because I don't want my socks to show. I don't understand like wh who those are for. If you love those, please explain, explique me, because like I just don't understand like what you're supposed to wear those with. Okay, Ugg, y'all really said <laughs> Sorel, hold my beer. Ooh, I wonder if they have those in my size. Ooh, I wonder if they have that in my size. Hmm. You'll always get me on a pair of Air Maxes. <gasps> they don't. I'm a size eight in case you're wondering. I love Nike Air Maxes. Those are so cute. Ooh, <gasps> if those were in a stiletto, I'd be all in. I love a cow print. It's just one of my tacky proclivities. What are you? Ooh, those are cute. Sorel, Sorel is kind of winning the day today. Like don't underestimate the ability of a pair of shoes like this to like, yes, they look really wild sitting there as a pair of shoes. You're just like, hmm, really khaki. But like you wear that with something that's like pretty sophisticated as like a commuter shoe and it'll brighten your day. It'll brighten everybody else's day. And it's just like a little something, something, it's a little something extra, you know? And it's not just like a pair of shoes that are purely practical, but Sorel are really practical. Those are really cute. Not only a hundred bucks. Those are really cute. <laughs> like those a lot. Ooh, I love a waffle one. I've been thinking about getting a pair because my kiddo, see, they always are sold out. Ooh, hey, look at that. But this is a pretty boring colorway. But my kiddo has a pair that his uncle got for him and I kind of want to match him. But I haven't found the same colors that he has. But I love, I love the waffles. They're really cute. Those are all the shoes. Let's look at like accessories. Accessories. We'll put an accessory factor. Or accessory factory out to me. Okay. Ooh. 
We're gonna sort by price, high to low, the way I always shop. We've got Jewel, wow! Wow! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's more than my first home, by a lot. <laughs> oh my God. $378,000 that's on sale, what up, Oregon? Okay, sorry, I'm just like, huh? Like, is anyone wait? Is anyone who's willing to spend, spend that on a ring waiting for the Nordstrom anniversary sale? <laughs> They're just like, oh, someone knocked $200,000 off my favorite ring. <laughs> Good thing, too, because I only had $378,550 running a hole in my pocket, so. Holy potatoes. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I just cracked myself up so hard with that just now. Okay, didn't realize that, like, we were gonna be in this range right now with Bon Levy, Bon Levy. I'm not sure. <laughs> my camera cut me off. Handbags. Ooh. Sort by... High to low. I can do an impression of Samantha too. Yeah, this puts us back right where we were. So similar to the way that the beauty was set up, I feel like when you kind of distill it down by category, you start to see that like a lot of times sales will be the like, ugh, you know, the stuff nobody wants. But this sale, I feel like is actually stuff that's like the most iconic versions of what brands do. So nothing that's completely off the beaten path, but you can get a Longchamp Le Pliage nylon travel bag, which like, you know, those were huge among the girlies when I was in college and stuff. And they're, you know, it's a pretty good discount. Typically $265 down to 190, like get your bargains. A regular, like a coach crossbody canvas bag, like typically 300, you can get it for 200 kind of thing. And like these, the crossbody little handbag style is very much like back in style now despite uh, all of us still wanting to feel like, no, that was, uh, yes, it was 20 years ago. Yep, we thought it was just yesterday, but it was 20 years ago, <laughs> khaki. So yeah, there are, ooh, see, Longchamp does some cute stuff. Some of their bags are just, the silhouettes on their bags are just so beautiful. Like that's so like simple and gorgeous and you don't have to worry about it being in your size. They're not gonna sell out of your size, it's a bag. All the Longchamp stuff, ooh, this is cute. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay, y'all, you you will get me on a leather, fine leather good. I'm, I'm a handbag girly. That's so cute. What, look at that. That is so cute. That's so like understated and like, especially for something that has the actual coach print on it. I'm not usually into that, but that's really cute. Okay, okay, okay. The puns don't get me. You're not gonna get me with a pun on a bag. I feel like that's it on the bags. Let's see, sunglasses are also my, my vice of choice. And there were some really good ones last year. And yeah, I mean, you know, you got your Gucci's and stuff like that. Like, hello. Whoa, Loeva has like, I don't really understand Loeva's point of view right now, I'm gonna be honest. Their stuff is so wildly expensive. And when it says add to bag or wish list to see the price, you don't wanna know. <laughs> you just don't wanna know. But yeah, you know, if, Designer sunglasses are your thing, like a Tom Ford pair of sunglasses. It's good to get a discount on them because they just mark it up for the Tom Ford name. I am a, you know, I'm a fan of a lot of the like silhouettes of them and stuff, but it's always better to get a bargain. But, like I take really good care of sunglasses and so I do pay a lot of money for sunglasses. They are just like one of my favorite things to accessorize with. So I wouldn't be surprised if I like some, ooh. Like those from Isabel Morant, you're always gonna get me on tortoise. Like it's kind of bad. Like I look at my sunglasses that I already have and I'm like, oh, I probably already have something like that. But that is, ooh, those are pretty. The thing is a lot of times I have to be careful because my head is so big. Like I have two pairs from the brand Crew, K-R-E-W-E out of New Orleans. And I love them because they're made for people with big heads and they are expensive, but they're also, the gold on them is 24 karat gold. They're just like really, really well made. They're really beautiful. And if you lose the first pair, they will replace them, which is pretty awesome. I am not wowed by this selection. Those are cute. I like those. I would have to see how they fit. Ooh, she looks cute in those. Clothing. Let's look at jackets. Another thing that I can almost always justify. Oh, Veronica Beard does this weird stuff where you can like zip a dicky in and out of the jacket. And so this is one of those and it's faux leather. I mean, it's either for you or it's not. I think that they're kind of fascinating. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's interesting to see them go on sale. They don't go on sale that often. Veronica Beard makes some beautiful stuff. She really does. A lot of it's kind of like over-imagined in some cases, but I still, I appreciate the effort, you know? All Saints does do some beautiful kind of leather stuff, you know, moto jackets and everything. I love these double-breasted blazers that are in style right now. Again, another trickle down from Balma, but you know, they're a little more affordable now from other brands. Oh, see, that's so gorgeous from All Saints. Ridiculous, nice biker jacket. And it's in an Oxblood. Oxblood is, I feel like, a really underappreciated quote unquote neutral. Like it's something that's so easy to wear with a bunch of stuff and it doesn't automatically cast your outfit into like, is it brown or is it black? You know what I mean? Or like, is it navy? Like it's just a really, it will kind of work with everything. I like, I like a good ox blood for that. Yeah, whereas like this one is gonna be a lot harder to wear. Lots of really good leather, some really great blazers. This Rails blazer is gorgeous. Rails is interesting. I don't love their like button downs that everyone knows them for, but I got a shacket from them last year that just is like unbelievably gorgeous and really well made and super warm. I also love a good little bomber moment. I love a bomber moment. They're so comfortable. It's just such a more comfortable cut than a regular moto jacket because it's got all the kind of like stretchy stuff around the bottom and around the wrists and stuff. So not a lot of like, I'm not seeing any like trench coats or anything. Oh, that's because we didn't click on coats. That was just blazers. <laughs> I knew that. Ooh, see, Apari, I think that's how you pronounce that. I have a coat from them and I love it. They do some really beautiful stuff. This is, it's available. This is great and everything but like an extra small. That's pretty good. Yeah, I love a teddy coat. I love a teddy coat. Like they're just, they're really cute. They're really warm. And I know that they were like three years ago, but I don't care, I still love them. Ooh, a barber coat. If you're a barber girly, you know like Amanda and Natalie are barber girlies. You know, mark it down from 350 to 249. Not too bad, not too shabby. Barber is just, you know, it makes me think I'm going to um, Bell moral, you know? Ooh, see this, 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 this. Wait, is that the same one? I think mine's a little shorter than this. This might be the exact same one. Wow. Um, Mine is in blue, check. But yes, this, I'm telling y'all, this is like the most effectively heavy, gorgeous, like shacket, wool blend jacket thing. Like it cuts the wind and it's so cute. I don't know. I love mine. It's so pretty. Ooh, that's cute, Levi's. Okay, Levi's. I always sleep on Levi's. Every time I open their website, I'm like, dang, okay. So this is faux shearling, but is the rest of it like faux leather? This cozy, I guess it's all faux, and that is why it's $200. It's really cute though. I love that. Mm, I love outerwear. It's a good thing I live in the Northeast because I still loved outerwear when I lived in Texas and it just sat in my closet like uh, the idiot that I am. Now see, this is cute, but like also, what are we doing? It doesn't have sleeves. I get it, but I don't get it at the same time. Like I'm not sure I'd ever find occasion to wear that. It's like a chocolate covered espresso bean. What is the appropriate time of day to eat a chocolate covered espresso bean? I don't want it in the morning, but I can't eat it in the evening, you know? Mm, we love a good double-breasted twill coat. Look at that. Now, navy is tough, navy is tough. Cause you have to be able to embrace wearing navy with like black or brown and sometimes they just don't go together. I definitely endorse like a, an olive green or a khaki <laughs> over uh, a navy. Woo! And then if you're really, really brave, you can do a winter white. That's the thing I feel like with a coat, it's like, you don't have to pay a fortune for a coat for it to look really chic. Like you can, you can, and it will make a difference to the trained eye. But I think that as long as it's really effective at keeping you warm, like good grief, that's beautiful. See, I could find occasion to wear that because it's not as heavy as the other one. That's just absolutely gorgeous. That's like the chicest thing I've ever seen. But yeah, like, if, you know, you could buy a coat that has all of the same bells and whistles and is just as effective as a really expensive one and like, look just as chic as if you'd paid like five times the price for it. Like you don't have to pay a fortune for a coat. I guess it's probably because there's just only so many materials you're gonna make something out of for a coat, you know? Like, yeah, there's fur. Like no one's buying real fur anymore. <laughs> but Like you are only going to get the, the nicest neoprene, right? The nicest nylon. <laughs> like it doesn't matter how much you pay for it, it's still gonna be nylon. Active wear. See, Zella is their like house brand. So that's usually where you're gonna, s what, what you're gonna see in their sale. And you can also get that stuff at like Nordstrom Rack and stuff. Oh, we got Cotopaxi, Sweaty Betty. A lot of people are big fans of Sweaty Betty. I personally, this is terrible, but like I cannot get past that brand name. I'm not gonna wear something by a brand called Sweaty Betty. 
I can't, even though it's really nice stuff. I know that it is. So there's some Nike stuff in here. There's some, you got your Aloe Airlift High Waist Leggings for $85 versus $128 typically. Again, we're talking about the kind of core items in these brands collections. So an out, ooh, Outdoor Voices, the tennis dress. That's so cute. Knock 25 bucks off of her. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, you know what we haven't looked at? Pajamas. <gasps> Lunia's on sale, y'all. That's a really good place to start. So we've got the Lunia washable silk short pajamas for $50 off. We got, ooh, that's pretty. The high waist washable silk pajamas for $70 off. Barefoot Dreams, everybody loves them. Some Barefoot Dreams. Eberge, I have the shorts version of this. It's so soft and lovely. So it's a pretty small selection, but good stuff. Do they have like home? Let's look at home decor. Let's look. You're gonna get all your lovely blankets. You're gonna get your Barefoot Dreams blanket. That's, what do they knock? 60 bucks off of that, fantastic. We've already talked about candles and stuff, but I think that the blankets, Nordstrom does do some good blankets. One of my favorite blankets is just the Nordstrom brand. Pretty, that's so nice, little serving bowl moment. <laughs> I don't know, like, these are cute. They, the thing is you like go all the way upstairs to their home section and you're always just like, oh wow, this is actually so nicely curated. That's pretty. What is that? It's a watch and winder case. Things I didn't even know existed. Well, I think that's enough, but I do hope that this was at least somewhat fun and enlightening. There is like kind of a limited amount of this stuff. I think a lot of it's sort of picked over by the time that we're looking at it right now because card members have sort of gotten the chance to shop already. Let me know if you ended up shopping the Nordstrom sale. And if you didn't watch my video already, a guide on shopping this sale from like just the beauty categories, definitely check that out. There's a lot on offer, a lot of really, really good stuff. So, and it's almost all still in stock, which is great. So I hope y'all did enjoy this. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you wanna keep hanging out with me on this channel, cool people subscribe, you should subscribe. It'd be cool if you did. And I'll put a video up here that I think you're gonna like. And I love y'all and I will see you in the next one. Bye.